Uh, in the early 90s, um, when the West Coast, you know, because obviously like hip hop was pretty, to my understanding, New York dominated when dudes like Public Enemy were coming out. Mm-hmm. And you had Run DMC and that. And then in the early 90s, you know, Dre dropped The Chronic, I think maybe 91, 92. Yeah. Snoop was on it. I mean, NWA, Ice T. Yeah, all, all the early, the 80s West Coast stuff was, was big in Boston. Um, Compton's Most Wanted. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Cole 187, mm. um, Above the Law. Yeah. We used to bang all of that. Like everything that came out from the West w- was hitting in Boston, wasn't New York. So, you know, we were open to all kinds of music. We, our ears were, you know, not fixated on New York rap. So when the West Coast stuff came, we loved it and we embraced it, you know, and people were riding around banging that West Coast stuff, you know, all throughout Boston. So. Yeah, I mean, I think we're, just because where we're situated and where we're located, we kind of uh, are on our own thing. We're the last big city, you know, in the Northeast, mm. um, but major city. So after us, it's all small towns and little cities and yeah. quaint New England, you know. Uh, so, yeah, man, I mean, we just have our own identity up there, and I think we just liked what we liked. We didn't, you know try to conform to, to, to New York and what they were doing at that time. Now, how, did that change at all when, you know, in the mid-90s? I know that, you know, it was a situation, obviously, between Park and Big or yeah. Death Row and Bad Boy, which is more, you know, New York. But then it turned into West Coast, East, East Coast. Coast. Yeah, it turned, it was, that was a bad time. I mean, just traveling to the West, the people were, you know, just a little Larry, because you never knew. It could be anybody that just wanted to get a rep. When all that stuff started to go down, did it change, you know, were you kind of like not banging the West Coast stuff as much anymore, or did um, it change your... Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, you know, I still banged whatever I liked. I wasn't in that beef, so <laughs> that, that beef did not apply to me, you know what I'm saying? So, nah, I didn't, you know, I still like the West Coast stuff. You know, I like Pac. Uh, I really wasn't a super huge Pac fan, like, on every song and, you know, everything like that. So, you know, I continued to do what I did. I I was out in Cali plenty of times, you know, during all of that stuff. And, you know, nothing with me because it's just what you give out is what you get back. You know, if you push out that positivity, you don't really have to worry about anything wherever you go. You know what I'm saying? So Mm. um, didn't really affect me, but it did affect just hip hop in general, you know what I mean? People were on edge, you know what I mean? It was a it was a kind of crazy time, you know, going out to the West Coast and them looking, you know, like, yeah, because you East Coast people look different than West Coast people. We dress different, we wear different, you know, and so you can automatically tell, you know what I'm saying? But none for me, really, man. I'm, you know, I'm I'm neutral in Switzerland in the rap game. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the last Oh, uh, yeah.